Here's your 41 Now update, sponsored by Kansas City Regional Association of Realtors. I'm Krista Dubill with 41 Action News. Here are your headlines for this Tuesday, October 9th. The Waldo Library is dealing with flooding. We're told this is a problem every time there's heavy rain. In August of 2017, they say the roof collapsed, ruining many books. Kansas City's libraries are hoping voters approve a tax increase to fix the problems. They want an eight cent increase in the property levy that will be on the November ballot. Overland Park police say they have found the van believed to have caused a deadly crash. Two young men were killed in a hit and run crash Saturday afternoon near 151st in Schweitzer, 20-year-old Samuel Sieber of KCK on the left, and 18-year-old Matthew Blosky died. Blosky was a senior at Rockhurst High School. No charges have been announced. As the Chiefs get ready for Sunday night football this week, news that they'll return to the primetime slot. The week seven game has been moved to Sunday night football. That game is at Arrowhead on October 21st. The Chiefs will take on the Cincinnati Bengals then. Your forecast is next. Did you know a realtor will help guide you through the home buying process from beginning to end? Visit KCRAR.com for more information or to find a registered realtor in your area. All right, here is our forecast. It has been a wet few days up to nearly a foot of rain where we were so far below average for so long. The drought is over, okay? Now it's a nine o'clock, a tornado watch is in effect, but the risk is gonna shift to the north and east away from Kansas City. Nine to seven a.m., few more showers and thunderstorms, maybe one more round, drop into near 50 degrees in the morning, and then much cooler in the 50s on Wednesday, it should dry out. We're monitoring it closely, of course. You can get your news and weather anytime at KSHB.com. Look around, our streets, our communities, our children. Now more than ever, we need the crime, we need the violence to stop. At 41 Action News, we say enough is enough. That's why we're taking action with Safe KC. Not just reporting the problems, but showing solutions with stories of hope, stories with answers. Because violence knows no race, no city, no zip code. Watch Safe KC only on 41 Action News and KSHB.com.